Welcome back to the Donnie Rapture channel, where I always bring you fresh, never before seen body cam video. Today's body cam video takes place on June 22nd, 2024, on the Hamosas River in Citrus County, Florida, and it picks up as an FWC officer on water patrol spotted a pontoon boat traveling fast in an idle manatee zone. Recording. Just put it in neutral for me, Cap. I'll pull along your port side, okay? No, ma'am. Thank you, though. I appreciate the offer. Hey, how y'all doing today? My name's John with Florida Fishing and Wildlife. The reason I'm stopping you, Captain, is because the area that you just entered is a manatee idle speed zone, okay? Yeah, so I'm sorry. I might make it a little bit too fast. Yeah, that's all right. It's no worries, right? That's why I'm going to stop and address the violation. That's, that's okay. It's not that big a deal. People make mistakes sometimes, all right? Um, since I've got you, do you have your vessel registration on board? Uh, it's probably all right. Okay. Ma'am, ma'am. Everybody wants to help, and I really appreciate it, but I'm going to ask the captain to get some stuff, okay? okay? And I would like the captain to get it all on his own. Nobody is to help him, okay? Does everybody okay. understand that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Are you Mr. B? Yes. Okay. All right, Mr. B. I need to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mr. B, I need to see eight life jackets, okay, a I Type 4 throwable, a sound-producing device, and a fire extinguisher. Okay. Got the eight life jackets up there. Okay, I need to see them, please, sir. If y'all will just let the captain get everything for me, I would appreciate that. Yes, sir, please. So let me explain something to new viewers. We are currently watching a safety inspection. Boaters in Florida are required to have certain safety equipment on board at all times. Although this vessel was stopped for speeding in a manatee zone, law enforcement can stop a vessel and conduct a safety inspection at any time, without probable cause. During these safety inspections, the officer will require the captain alone to move about the vessel and locate the safety equipment which in turn serves as a preliminary field sobriety test. Officers will watch the captain's movements and behavior, looking for any signs of impairment. I'm sure it wouldn't make a difference to let you know we're friends with three. Evan Marshalls and Jimmy Sudlow, would it? Uh, you know, ma'am, we're all, oh, we're all okay. friends. How many you got, Mr. I got eight right here. You sure, ma'am? If I can let Mr. Oh, get everything oh, for me, ma'am. Okay. The rest of the safety equipment that I've asked you for, please. Um, the whistles underneath there. A flare kit underneath the seat. Just like a little more technology. You want me to stack all that shit back in here? Yes. Or is that all? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Can I see the fire extinguisher, please, Mr. Who wants to see the fire extinguisher? It's Costco. Just one check the day. It's probably a little bit old. It's still good. Okay. Sound producing device? Oh. Whistle, please. Brand new one. All right. And the Type 4 throw. Type 4 throwable. Everybody calls it a seat cushion. It's underneath there on the corner. Okay. Can I see it, please, sir? Yes, sir. That's my fault. I took it all right. That and there's three more. Hi. Like your servers. There's the other life jacket okay. he was talking about. Perfect. Right. And do you have your driver's license on you, Mr. According to the report, the officer noted these additional signs of impairment, miscounting the life jackets, having to be told what safety equipment the officer requested initially, and finally, my favorite, loss of dexterity in his fingertips when retrieving his driver's license. Swim today? Yeah, in the poker Playing run. Playing the poker run. Okay, yes, what do they do on the poker run? Do you want to see my cards? I might be in second or third place. Oh, wow. Hold on. I don't, I don't know what happens with the poker run. So. All right. Well, I've been playing it since day one, since they opened it. Okay. And through the years, I just gather more friends and co-workers. Oh. It helps the community, more people that participate. Yeah. So, now I'm going to show you my card because I am doing good. All right. Although this officer appears fairly friendly, it's fairly obvious he was fishing for evidence, hoping the occupants will say that they were drinking at the poker match. $600 was probably 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Yes. Do y'all have any fish or anything in the coolers? No, no, no sir. Would you mind getting open them up for me, Mr. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes,
Since the vessel wasn't actively fishing or in possession of fishing equipment, the occupants had no legal requirement to open the coolers. Opening the coolers may seem like a nice gesture, but it's only helping him build evidence of impairment. Okay, so you want something to drink, a Powerade? I'm good, thank but you, though, man. look at my car, tell me I'm not doing good. <laughs> you doing wonderful. I really am. I, I got aces, that, jack, You're games, speaking Greek, Greek to me, but I love it. I love it. <laughs> what about this one, Mr. Oh, there's something good. All right. Cool. All right. And if you would, step over this way for me, Mr. So I'm noticing a little bit of signs of impairment. How much have you had to drink today? Uh, I'm probably on my third beer. Third beer? That's it? Yes. All day long? Yes. Okay. We're getting ready to go down here and eat and watch some fireworks. Okay. I'm going to ask you if you would step aboard my vessel to perform some seat field sobriety tasks to dispel my minutes. My, my thought process right now. Really? Yes, sir. No, man, that's, that's not fair. How is that not fair? What have I done? I didn't say you've necessarily done anything wrong, Mr. So, performing the seated field sobriety tasks doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong. It's just dispelling the, the thought process of, of you drinking and voting. Man, something's up with that. I haven't done nothing wrong. Why should I have to need to deal with this? Say it again, sir. I said I haven't done nothing wrong. Why should I have to need to deal with this? Well, it I sounds don't... like harassment to me. Harassment? It's it's not harassment, sir. No, we're just putting through the river. I understand. I stopped you for a manatee zone violation. Yes. And I've seen some signs of impairment. I'm asking you to dispel my, my thought process right now. I mean, I have it captured on body camera, ma'am. Yes. I mean, yeah. I wasn't going that fast. Okay. It wasn't that big a deal. Are you going to perform the tasks or not, Mr. Why should I? I mean, I haven't done nothing wrong. I, I didn't say that you have to. This is your, this is your choice, okay? But if you don't, it's going to force me to make a decision on what I've seen thus far. I just like, man, this is just ridiculous. I've never been harassed so much. Do you want me to call Evan? Yeah. Do you want me to call him? You know Evan? I mean, he's... I do know Evan, yes. Yeah, call Evan. Man, I, I'm a... Yeah, call Evan. I don't I didn't... need no headaches. I, I didn't, I mean, you can call Evan, but yeah. that's not going to change yeah, me asking you to perform the seat of field sobriety tasks. It's more like he just wants, you know, I just can't believe it. I didn't say that he didn't pro yes. not provide. Man, we just want to enjoy the fireworks. <laughs> Man, I understand. I understand. Not speeding or Mr. I just hate to be harassed. Mr. I understand. But I'm doing my job. And from this point, I'm asking you to dispel my myths yeah. or my thoughts. So what is the consequence if I just say no? And then I'm going to make a decision based upon what I've seen thus far. What have I done wrong? Huh? What have I done wrong? I just explained myself to you, Mr. I stopped you for a manatee zone violation. I was in, like, idle zone. People drive by faster than that every day. Mr. I'm not going to continue to argue with you, okay? okay. So if you would like to board my vessel and perform the tasks. What tasks are they? I'm going to check your eyes and then I'm going to ask you to do three other tasks. I'm going to give you the directions during Just those tasks. He works in drywall and his eyes look like that all the time. I'm a yeah, registered nurse and I know whatever. that. I'm just saying I always think he has allergies. That's not it. Okay. So, so you're a registered nurse and you're telling me his eyes look like that all the time? Yes. yes. He, has, he, he has a drywall business and his eyes look like 24 you say, No, Evan Marshall, we work for Evan. We work for Jimmy Solo. That, that's fine, man. I, mean, I, I understand that. I understand yeah. this. And I always think like he's so, so if that's the case, it right, is, it is. then this will be done and y'all will go about your way. Okay. All right.
So if you'll just come aboard my vessel. Had the man refused to do the SFTs, the officer would have arrested him under the suspicion of DUI, using the evidence he gathered up until this point. And if the man lawyered up, there's a strong chance he could have beaten the charges. But he didn't, like so many others. So if you're unfamiliar with the channel, we're about to watch this man do SFSTs, which are a set of three tests intended to test one's cognitive abilities instead of balance. So, so Mr. Chuck, I understand that, that you don't understand what I'm saying. I know, and I the, understand what you're saying. Okay. So I'm trying to explain it to you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you're going to write me up. That's not necessarily true. That is 100% not necessarily true. You know how many times I've done seat of field sobriety tasks? Mm -hmm. and, Probably a bunch of them. And, and let the driver go? Quite a few times, okay? Yes. I'm going to do a couple yes. tasks, I know. and if the, and that's yes. that's going to be it, right? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take yes. that into consideration, okay, ma'am? Yes. Do you know what horizontal gaze nystagmus is? I do. You're a nurse. I understand how, how does you he look at him and you would see that. How does he have it? Well, he doesn't wear his freaking shit like he should. And okay. He breathes all the shit yes. in and he goes into his all right. eyes. His yes. so, he doesn't wear. Yes. So place your feet shoulder width apart so you're comfortable and stable. Like short apart? Yeah, just shoulder width apart. Do not move your feet until the tasks are over. Stay in this position and do not do anything else until I tell you to do so. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to check your eyes. Yes. I need you to hold your head still and follow the stimulus with your eyes only. I'm skipping past the HGN test because there's absolutely nothing we can observe, and they're boring. But the officer claimed that he showed clues of impairment during it. The next portion of the test is finger to nose. Here's what you gotta know. The subject must keep their eyes closed and head at a 45 degree angle. When the officer says left, the subject must touch his exact tip of his left finger to the tip of his nose, then immediately return it to his side. Same thing goes for the right. The test is harder than it looks. I recommend you trying it at home. Kinda like one of the YouTube buddies I have, Stone, and it, it is gal pal, who needs some practice. I've only had one drink. I can operate this boat. Anything else, officer? Your nose, and then the right hand to the tip of your nose ten times. Go. Eyes closed. Uh, damn. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Left. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. You're all done. You say you only had three three drinks, right? Yes, I've had three beers all day. All day. Yes. That's it. You're gonna place your hands palm to palm with one hand up and one down like this. Like this. When I tell you to begin, you're going to turn the top hand over and count out loud one. Then turn the hand back over and count out loud two. One, two, one. Hey, hold on. I'll do, I'll do the one, two, one, two, one, two. Ready? One, two, 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 one, how much more do I have to do? I mean, you know. This one and one more. Are you going to write me a ticket or what is going to happen here? But I'm going to continue with the tasks. Which way you want me to go? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Speed up. One, two, 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 one, two. You're all set. The last test is the hand coordination test, and this one's a doozy. So here's another clip of the task being done properly by officers. One, two, three, four. Okay. The second task is to memorize the position of your fists after you've counted to four. You're going to clap your hands three times and return your fists to the memorized position. Like this. One, two, three. Back in memorized position. The third task is to move your fists in a step-like fashion in reverse, counting out loud from five to eight and returning your fist, your left fist, to your chest. Five, six, seven, 
eight. Touch this to the center of the chest. The fourth task is to open your hands with palms down and place them on your lap. Do you understand? Let's see, you want me to do step on or step out? One, two, three, four. Do you want me to step out? Memorize position. Then what do you want me to do? Hands down? No, sir. That's what I don't understand. We're to go to the next process. Okay. I've, I've given you the directions now three times, Mr. Fox. I know. I just, I'm not good with directions. I'm sorry. Why I don't only have a sudden word that it changes. Okay. Right. Are you going to perform the tasks? I, I, what do you want me to do? I, it's not working out. Okay. You know, I mean, I can only do just what you tell me to do. Right. But okay. I can't get it all in order what you want me to do. Okay. All right. So the last task is for you to stand up and turn away from me. Place your hands behind your back. being placed under arrest for voting while your normal faculties are impaired. If you'll just hold right there, I'll give you two, two handcuffs, okay? Uh, right. Who would you like this vessel to be released to, Mr. Uh, my son over there, or my wife. Or Which one's Tim? your son? Uh, or Tim, let Tim yes. drive it. Yes. Tim could drive You're Mr. It. Tim? Yes. yes. Sir. Do you have an ID on you, Mr. Tim? Yes, sir. Can I see it, please? Can I have my driver's license? Yes, sir, it's here with you. Listen, Mr. Mr. B is going to be taken to the Citrus County Detention Center, okay? He will be capable of being bailed out within the next 8 to 10 hours, okay? It all depends upon my booking time and whatnot and what time he gets in there, all right? Okay, so I go to that place just it's off of down the road, 491. 491 right there? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. In 8 to 10 hours? 8 yeah. hours he yeah. has to be in there, yeah. But it may be 10 because it's going to take me a little bit to get there and do my stuff, okay? That day, the man was charged with boating under the influence and apparently refused to give a breath sample. If you guys liked today's video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, what, why on earth are you not subscribed?